What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Broccoli Bell Boy, aka Russell Westbrook, aka Veggie Miller, aka Mr. 51 Pounds Down Accountant. But who's counting me because I'm Petty Petty Kruger, making memes while you dream. Sauce Baro, Broccoli Pear Grills, Juice Leroy, Kimball Christ, saving them all from their whack ass vices. Black fiber, your nape of your neck, double breasted, pink luster moisturizer, all in my hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut short the AKAs. You know what I'm saying? You know I can go on for days. That's a bar right there. But anyway, um, come to y'all, talk to y'all about something I alluded to in one of my stories. You know, I got gray hair right here you know a lot of times i get the yeah you know i like the salt and pepper you know what i mean but it's also signaling you getting older and one of the things that signaled me getting a little bit older this was cool you know what i'm saying but then when you get this you feel me this shit right here nigga like a uh, cat hair in your eyebrows you know what i mean come on fam it's it's, it's a little it's a little problematic right now you know what i'm saying then the chest hairs and, and i ain't gonna go on for days about what's going on and what's you know the, the great the great areas you feel me i ain't, I ain't about to go into the great areas of the situation or whatever but what i alluded to was the panathenic acid you know what i'm saying panathenic acid is a part of the b complex and you know it's other b complex items that you may be familiar with but you may not be able to identify them with their particular b vitamin name or whatever um same time, I'm gonna read this off because I'm not gonna profess to know these things um, by heart. You know what I'm saying? I get them mixed up sometimes or whatever. So you got B1, that's thiamine. You got B2, that's riboflavin. You got B3, that's niacin. That's B5, panathenic acid, what I'm talking about right now. You got uh, B6, that's pyridoxine. B7, biotin. A lot of y'all probably know about biotin because, you know what I'm saying, like people prescribe that for people that. Um, need to grow hair a lot faster or make your nails grow faster or whatever. You may get that in an isolated uh, supplement or something like that. And it works. Um, we can talk about that another time. Um, you got B9 folic acid. And you got B12 uh, cobalamin. Okay, so I want to talk to you about panathenic acid. Panathenic acid is known to be um, play a vital role in human nutrition. The name comes from panthos panthos meaning universal so this is prevalent in all living things all living cells what have you uh, that's yeast molds bacteria um individual cells of plants and animals so this is a very beneficial um you know very beneficial vitamin to your life whatever they've said that um if a dark furred animal is deficient in b5 then their fur turns gray it's said to benefit acne, alcoholism, allergies, anxiety, asthma, ADHD, carpal tunnel, depression, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and yeast infections. But what I'm talking to you today about is gray hair. Because I got this article. You know, I'm going to tell you a little story about this article. So I went into the store, um, to my, you know, my local herb store, which has since burned down or what have you. But I went into there, and, they, and the lady was like, yeah, you know... Um, you know, you got the, that gray hair right there, you know, maybe she was trying to sell me or what have you or whatever, but, or maybe she was being genuine and maybe thought that I wanted to get rid of this or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Not really knowing and connecting with, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, my community or whatever, because I get compliments on this all the time, but at the same time, that was her, her pitch or whatever. And she gave me this article. Um, I'll read a couple things from this article that, you know, is kind of, you know, like, it's kind of mind blowing or whatever, like how it helps, helps and the aging process or whatever or reversing the aging process if they do a little bit more clinical trials or you do some you know research on your own it's, it's worth a try because it's it's not something that is going to um greatly it's, it's not going to mess up your health if you take this and you know it's, you're just going to piss it out if if you take too much b5 and you don't need it you're just going to piss it out so it says one aspect of panathenic acid of particular interest to women is that years ago when queen bee's royal jelly was analyzed in an attempt to find out why queen bee was sexually superior to worker bees and had a lifespan many times longer the jelly was found to to be tremendously rich in panathenic acid later the lifespan of other animals was increased by one third when panathenic acid was added to the diet so basically saying that the queen bee you know lasted a lot longer um because she was secreting this uh you know this panathenic acid in her uh royal jelly that, that's you know that's what they call it or whatever but um for me personally um 
it's worth a try or whatever, but I kind of like this. I'll just pluck this out, you know, but if you have a problem, not a problem, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you can kind of look distinguished if you got, you know, gray hair, what have you. you know, maybe you like it. Um, but um, another one is that if your body doesn't, if your body doesn't need panathenic acid, it will excrete it in your urine. That's what I already said earlier. Um, the other one is uh, dark haired animals. If they don't have a sufficient amount of panathenic acid, then they will turn gray. So they've, you know, seen, well, people have seen some results in this where they may take this and it kind of reverses the aging process. And also another thing, if you don't have enough panathenic acid, let's use vitamin B5, you know, just to make it easier to remember or what have you, then you can have problems with acne or what have you. So maybe, you know, if you have some problems with acne, it may be attributed to you having a lack of panathenic acid because some people may need more than other people. You know what I'm saying? It's not no, you know, universal, like I need this much and you need that much. Other people need more. So for optimal health, they say that you should have five to 10 milligrams of panathenic acid and dissolves in water. It's, com it's completely destroyed when baking soda is added. So keep that in mind, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're gonna um, cook something with baking soda that is said to have a high value of panathenic acid, and you use baking soda in that, you know, you're completely destroying that. The sources, I'm only gonna give you out of vegan sources because, you know, I can't tell you the stuff that, you know, other people eat. Um, there are a lot of other things that, you know, I won't promote myself, uh, whether it be eggs, they say eggs has a lot of it in there. Um, I don't know if you're gonna eat 700 eggs a day or whatever because you know whatever but anyway <laughs> mushrooms avocado broccoli sweet potatoes corn cauliflower kale and tomatoes so i say this is a very beneficial thing to look into if you're having a problem where you may think that you're going gray prematurely or you you know maybe one of the people that don't want to run out and get the emmy box or keep dying your hair or whatever you know what i'm saying like maybe try this out because it's also going to correct a lot of other things in your body like i said it's going to interact with your body a lot of other ways but this is something that they've been doing a lot of trials and saying that it's been helping a lot of people age a lot of i mean not age but um uh reverse a lot of age uh age affected things in your life or what have you and i mean it's, it's good to be you know stocked up on your vitamin values anyway you know what i'm saying so why not try it out? You know what I'm saying? Get the isolated compound. You can go in the store, get the extract. You can get the pills or what have you. You know what I'm saying? So it's been herbs day again. Oh man, forgot to shout out. Good people at Black Excellence. You know what I mean? For this nice shirt. You know what I mean? Like, how can you go wrong? Another thing I would say, if you're watching me on YouTube, you're already at herbs day. Go check me out at Broccoli underscore Balboa. If you're at Broccoli underscore Balboa on IG, check me out on YouTube at Herbs Day. This has been Herbs Day. Love y'all. Peace. Bye.